so class 12 is the data structure data structure already i have given you the notes in the website you can see there data structure that only you have to start study i told you repeatedly uh, so even then as i am taking class i will give you some ideas and the hints regarding this now you see here first you have to know what is data structure that is the main basic thing data structure and there are two things are there one is the data structure and another one is the database management one is data structure and another one is database management these two are closely related because data structure also deals with many data this is not the single data many data usually because data manipulation data means file handling or all this type of means so where the lot of data are um, calculated or handled that type of thing the data structure and database management both it works but the data structure it works the whole operation it works in the memory only data structure data structure i give you the array stack you give the array you have a good concept about the array when you are writing one array program you test the program you run the program in that particular time only computer the program will read the data and it will do the operation and it will give you the result there is no place of storing the data or some other place so that means the array so this is all data structure so one of this array why i am picking up because the array concept you have a very clear concept because array is there are single dimensional array multi dimensional two dimensional array there are some data we are giving and there are we are doing some operations and then we are getting the data they are specially we are testing our the logical capabilities or how we write the program loops that is the there in the array now here there is no close no place to store many data now if say if you want to do it some report card generation in a school then you cannot take the arrays for that purpose it is not possible because the arrays you don't store the data the reports the data you have to store it in the permanent storage device so that is the basic difference so data structure it deals with the in the data many data but not like the database management it deals with only the memory the memory means it has a direct connection with the memory yeah database management also has a direct connection in the memory because without memory nothing works but the database management which is another thing is the disk it is a hard disk or whatever disk you have that is the permanent storage here you have permanent storage so that is the basic difference so when you are going to have a report card in a school or you have such type of work but the many data just to store it then where you are you can not store it in a memory so you have to take help of the permanent storage so database management this is actually is the file handling you can say it is a file handling and so this is the file handling concept where for the access ms access you know where the lot of data can be stored that like in a table and all this records so this is the database management so database management and data structure you in the bhai bhai now generally they ask what is the basic difference generally that they both it deals with many data but the database management it deals with even more data than the data structure with an efficient manner and then it is a permanent storage because when the you work so it will get it from there and it will do the work again it will modify or whatever correction you make again it will stay there it is if you have a direct link with the permanent storage you cannot write the program or you cannot store the data in the memory so this is the database management a data structure fully it is a just the technical concept and there you or it will check your with the programming capability and specially the small data and in the loops how you are using it and so that is the data structure and database management now we are coming to the array stacks array we already i have given you the notes and you have been learning from the lower point in the class 10 and then specially stack and queue that also program i have given you two program one is from stack and another one is from queue so that two program specially i will talk about the stack and queue link list you don't have right now in this and the binary also i have given you binary program don't come If from here the short question five short question I have given you the notes from here just if you study you get it and now stack you also have given the program but I write and I explain it to you now in the stack you see we are what we are going to do stack first the stack concept I am telling you the stack it is a say you are you want to a coffee shop or you want to a parlor or to eat means the 
coffee shop or the hotel to eat. you will see the fellow is washing the dishes washing the dishes he is washing and throwing in a plate so here it is the this is the place where his stack is there so he just wash he put it there so this is your first plate then again the second one this is your second plate now he finish the, the handy fellow who is washing the dishes so it is the keep on this, this is your stack now suddenly the fellow who is serving the dish Adding the food, then he will come. He will take from here only. He will not take this dish. He will be taking this dish. That means that's not what you are wash and keep. So that only he will be taking. So this dish will be used, not the first one what you are there. So this is the stack. Stack. In, so that means here it is. So last in, first out. So last, just now what I am, means the handy boy, he kept it after washing. So that only this, this plate will be used to utilize the, to give serve the food. So that means the last thing, first out, this is the basic concept of the stack. So on the basis of this concept, we will be writing the program. And then I am coming to the queue. Queue again, I am giving you just the concept, how it is basic difference between stack and two. So here it is the only one end operation, stack and two. So that means here it is a very good example so you can remember it easily. So the fellow is washing and throwing. Washing and throwing means throwing in the place where it's supposed to fit. So here one, two, three like that. But just now when the fellow comes to serve it, another fellow, he is the last plate is just so that means last thing in the first count is the here basic concept. Whereas in case of Q, then what happens Q when you are say in a movie movie hall, generally will everywhere there is a line. So that is the Q concept. So there, here is a counter, here is a counter, in this counter, the pillows are one by one, it is coming. So this is the first, this is the first pillow, then this is the second one, this is the third one, like that way, this is the last one, this pillow has come. Now once the counter opens, then this pillow one will take it, but here is the stopping, when the heat came first, so he is getting the, this one first. And now, again after that, so line he push and then the second pillow will come. So like that way, he came last, so he will get last one. So that means this is the concept is totally different. So that means here it is the first in, first out. So this is the basic concept we have. And then your this one, the queue, there are two ending also. There are two con controlling points. One is front and another one is the rear. This is the we call it there will be two control. How this rear will change it? Because once this fellow take take the ticket, then this fellow will push and this also will have to move forward. Then only it will come to that time will come, will come to here. So that means there are two control. One is the your front, front control, and another one is the rear control. So these two, two controlling operators will be using it in case of Q, whereas in case of this one, in case of stack, there is only front, only one. That will be here, there is no this one. This only will keep on if this fellow stop and then you keep on taking so like that way the plate will one by one it will be coming and this one this operator means this variable will keep on changing the value and go come to the end of this till the place all the plates are not over. So there are two basic operations, both the cases stack and queue. One is to add add element and another one is to delete element. That means how we are going to add the plates into the thing and again coming out with the data going into the stack and how the data is being coming out from the stack. That is the and here even the this one also in the queue also the how means the when you are adding into the queue means when you are creating the queue and then how the queue will be being deletion in the how the after taking out the um, this the element is going out from the queue so that two operation only we are going to. Now first today I will write one program on the stack and then I will explain it and next class I will give you the another one.